Welcome to Silver Coding Academy. We are still on our creation of LinkedIn profile. Today, I want to show you how you can export all the connections like the email addresses and all that thing you have in LinkedIn and use it for your lead. Maybe use it for other things so I can send short message to them, send customized message to them, and all that. So, how do you do that? Remember in our last class, I told you how you can use the power of dog soup to get a lot of content. It could connect a lot of content. So once you get more this connection, you can market them on LinkedIn or take them to your page, your Facebook, your WhatsApp, your page, your way, your Facebook, or even your website using their email address and then send customized email to market yourself or your product or your skills to them. So how do you do that? For you to get all the information, the one you need. Simply come to here, you see my mouse, me, under me. Click on me. So click on me. You see view profile. I'm not going there. I'm going straight to, let's be on our profile first, be on the profile. So we are on me. Scroll down, email at our view profile. You go to account, scroll down, tap, try to email, you see the next one, settings and privacy. Don't forget settings and privacy. Click on settings and privacy. Let it open. Settings and privacy. Let it open. It's, it's opening right now. Yeah, it has opened. So once you are at center privacy, scroll down again. So you want to know the one you want to use. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Scroll down. You don't want to make your account right now. Scroll down, be scrolling down. Now let me explain something here. For some of some people, you are going to see it here. Okay. Why for others you see it at your left? So if you check, scroll down, down to the end. I didn't see it here. Then come to your left. You see it on your left. What are you going to see? Under settings, you see sign in and security. Okay. You click on sign in and security. So I'll click on it right now. And it has opened. It will now tell you account access, phone number, change password, where you are signing device to remember your password to verification. This way you now put on your settings if you want your settings to be there. But if not, you are not looking for your settings, you are looking for data privacy. So you click on data privacy. It will now tell you, bring, you come over and tell you manage your data and activity, get a copy of your data. Mm -hmm. This is where you go. Get a copy of your data. Are you making sense? I'm not making sense. I'm showing you every other thing before we get here, okay? So click on get a copy of your data click on it and if you check here say export your data download larger data archive including connection contact account history and information when in fail about you based on your profile and activity learn more this is want something in particular select in data file you most interest you are most interested in now we are talking about connection so you click on it you click on connection okay then request archive you click on request archive. I don't want to request my now, but okay, let me just do it because of that. You see, I'll take you down to the straight to the end. Click on request archive. It's opening. Let's wait a little for you to open, then we'll continue what we're doing. So don't forget what we did. You click on me. From that me, you scroll down, move straight to data and privacy. From there, you see your setting. It can either be on the left or at the center. You click on it as well. So, while that one is opening, let me be showing you other things that you can see doing here. Let me show you how you can go into your security. For example, some people prefer to have a two way password that so nobody will hack your account. So, if you're on that, this is where you come data privacy. Yeah, you have your email address already. Your phone number, you can put it there if you don't have it. You can, if you want to change your password, this is where you change your password. Then where, where you are signed in is there. Then device that remember your password is there. Then if you want two-step verification, you on it off. When immediately you click on all here, you ask you for two-step verification. That is in your phone or your code and the rest of them. So these are things that you need to know, things that are very, very important that you just need to know. Let's go and check if what we are doing has open. It's still opening, so it's taking some time, but you just got to be patient, okay? We open very soon. 
So it's still downloading. So let me just make something clear here. This process you are seeing now will take about 10 minutes or more. But the good news is that once they are through, they will send you an email. And when you see your email, you can able to from your mail, you know that they are true, you come back here, you can download them and then send it to your CSV file. So right now your CSV file, you can now start taking the email addresses you want, the connections you want, and then send customized email to them and use to build your email list. I hope I'm making sense. If I'm making sense, kindly subscribe to my channel, like this channel, share it, ask questions. I like to see so I can grow better. If you have also a better way, bring it out as well. Once again, thank you for listening to Seven Academy. See you in the next class. Thank you so much.